It was an April Fool's Day Caitlin Yates will never forget. On April 1st, we found out that we were pregnant. Far from a joke, but certainly unexpected for the 20-year-old. When I went into the ER to get my tonsils looked at, it's actually really crazy of actually how we found out. Um, I didn't even go in there for pregnancy. The shock grew even more when she heard the word quadruplets. The boys are identical and the girls are fraternal. Her pregnancy was hard from the start. At just 14 weeks, Yates says she hit rock bottom. My liver and kidneys started not doing so well. But Yates was a long way from her Valentine home, living in Illinois with her fiance. Her parents wanted to get them back to Montana before the babies came, but with the medical troubles Yates faced, the four were delivered by an emergency C-section on the 17th. Then we ended up at 28 weeks and four days, and I knew it was, knew it was time to deliver. Over 1,200 miles away from home and her parents. I knew that they needed help. My husband and I made sure they got to Illinois. Huntley resident Heidi Rink has never met Yates in person, but knows her parents, Rodney and Deb Yates, well. They're just amazing people, just hard workers, and they would give the shirt off their back to help anyone in need. And now Rink hopes to return the favor, raising money for the family. I'm just going to set those up around the community and hope that we can just get some funds coming in because this is going to be a really long journey. Rink understands firsthand what it's like to need support. We were in a time of need at one time when our son was diagnosed with leukemia. And she's confident the community will rally around Yates, her fiance, and their four babies to get them back to Montana. I have never met her until now, and I am, she is like a family member to me already. Like, she will always be in my heart. The donation jars will be set up in businesses from the Ballantine and Warden area all the way to right here in Billings. Reporting for MTN News, I'm Haley Monaco.